Therefore, I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendour that are gone, but a declaration of our hopes for the future. And for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve you as your queen. I have been speaking of the vast regions and varied people to whom I owe my duty. But there has also sprung from our island home a theme of social and political thought which constitutes our message to the world and through the changing generations has found acceptance both within and far beyond my realms. Parliamentary institutions with their free speech and respect for the rights of minorities and the inspiration of a broad tolerance in thought and its expression, all this we conceive to be a precious part of our way of life and outlook. During recent centuries, this message has been sustained and invigorated by the immense contribution in language, literature and action of the nations of our Commonwealth overseas. It gives expression, as I pray it always will, to living principles as sacred to the crown and monarchy as to its many parliaments and people. I ask you now to cherish them and practice them too. Then we can go forward together in peace seeking justice and freedom for all men. As this day draws to its close, I know that my abiding memory of it will be not only the solemnity and beauty of the ceremony, but the inspiration of your loyalty and affection. I thank you all from a full heart. God bless you all.